Can you imagine a world where a simple procedure could control blood pressure? This might sound like science fiction, but the reality is closer than you think. The procedure in question is renal denervation, a breakthrough in medical science that promises to revolutionize the treatment of hypertension. Renal artery denervation, by definition, is a procedure that disrupts the renal sympathetic nerves. These nerves play a crucial role in regulating blood pressure. So by disrupting them, the procedure aims to lower blood pressure, particularly in patients where traditional methods like medication have proven ineffective. The journey of renal artery denervation began with two landmark studies, Simplicity HTN1 and Simplicity HTN2. These studies laid the groundwork for research in this area. Simplicity HTN1, the first of the two, showed promising results, indicating that renal artery denervation might indeed be the answer to treatment-resistant hypertension. However, the road to medical breakthroughs is rarely smooth. More research is usually needed to confirm results. Simplicity HTN2, despite the high expectations, failed to meet its primary endpoint. This unexpected outcome raised questions about the efficacy of the procedure, leading to a need for further investigation and refinement. The Simplicity HTN3 study was a pivotal trial investigating the efficacy and safety of catheter-based renal artery denervation in patients with severe resistant hypertension. Led by Pot et al., it was a prospective, single-blind, randomized, sham-controlled trial. Patients enrolled were on a stable antihypertensive regimen involving maximally tolerated doses of at least three drugs, including a diuretic. They were randomly assigned to undergo renal denervation or a sham procedure. The primary efficacy endpoint was the change in office systolic blood pressure at six months with a secondary endpoint being the change in mean 24-hour ambulatory systolic blood pressure. The primary safety endpoint included a composite of adverse events such as death, end-stage renal disease, events causing end-organ damage, renovascular complications, or hypertensive crisis at one month, or new renal artery stenosis of more than 70% at six months. Contrary to prior unblinded studies, this rigorously designed blinded trial did not demonstrate a significant reduction in systolic blood pressure in patients with resistant hypertension six months after the procedure compared to a sham control. It's noteworthy that my mentor, Dr. Susan Oparel, made significant contributions to this study. Despite these initial hiccups, the field of renal artery denervation did not stay stagnant. On the contrary, it spurred further studies and advancements in technology, which reignited interest in this innovative procedure. New techniques, such as targeted nerve ablation and improved patient selection criteria, began to show potential for better outcomes. In the world of medicine, it's often a case of two steps forward, one step back. Despite the initial promise of Simplicity HTN1, the disappointing results of Simplicity HTN2 and 3 led to a period of doubt and uncertainty. However, the spirit of scientific inquiry persevered, leading to new advancements and techniques in renal artery denervation. So to summarize, renal artery denervation is a promising procedure that disrupts renal artery sympathetic nerves to potentially lower blood pressure in patients with treatment-resistant hypertension. The journey of this procedure from the initial studies of Simplicity HTN1 and Simplicity HTN2 and 3 through periods of doubt and uncertainty to the new techniques and advancements is a testament to the resilience and perseverance of the medical community. The future of renal artery denervation and its role in treating hypertension looks promising indeed. Like and subscribe to learn more about resistant hypertension. Thank you for watching.